Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm G. So today I'm gonna be doing a temporary room tour, which is technically where I'm staying right now for the time being. So I've already moved into this place for about six months plus. Technically, I'm actually renting just this room itself. It's actually a studio room. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my studio room and no joke, the whole entire room is definitely very small. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I have in my room. Okay, so first section, we are going to start off with this area first, which is my entrance of the room. So if you actually watch like some of my videos, I've been filming mostly at this area because I have a mirror here. So it's really, really easy for me to film my outfit, especially for lookbooks. This is technically my favorite area because I get to see myself before I leave my house every day and I get to see whether I look good or not, especially um, with whatever outfit that I'm wearing on that day. And hashtag outfit of the day. Oh my god, cringe but whatever. So right beside the door here, we have a mini kitchen. Definitely big enough for me to cook Maggie. I also don't really cook so often so it's okay. They provided me an industrial cooker. It's convenient in a sense and also a washing machine which helped me a lot because when I came here to look at the room at first it was a mini washing machine but it was very nice enough to actually change into a bigger one for me we have like three cabinets here to put some nonsense and over here we have two drawers and one cabinet but guess what this cabinet you can't even open it you can't open it so that's technically it for my kitchen because like I said I don't really care about kitchen as long as I have a space for me to cook Maggie then it's good enough so moving on to my bathroom gonna get noisy because there's um what do you call this ventilator so it's a little bit noisy so deal with it so this technically my bathroom not very big but i would say it's big enough for me to at least pee and shit and a space for me to shower and also a space for me to brush my teeth etc so they have a basin in a very weird shape I don't really like the shape but it's okay and they have space for me to put my cleanser etc and over here we have cabinet space to put my toiletries and guess what there's only one door so if I'm gonna literally take things from there I have to crawl my hand in so it's a bit troublesome then over here is the little shower room and if you are wondering why do I have this over here it's because when I'm showering, I will just like close the door and then hang my phone over here and I will just shower. It's a bit weird but I just have these weird habits. It's either I'm watching my drama or I'm just listening to music and just hang my phone here. It's very convenient guys. And it's super entertaining so I won't be so bored when I shower in a shower room. I don't know. It's just me, okay? I actually chose this place because of the goddamn bathroom. And <laughs> the main reason why I chose this bathroom is because they have a door for the shower room. Yes, don't judge me but I just don't like to like shower and have all of my bathroom floor wet after my shower so i guess it's just me being picky about my life moving on from my entrance we have my bedroom so we're gonna start with here first obviously so right beside the door i place my laundry bag and my bookshelf I was actually quite stressed about where to put my bookshelf at first when I moved in but I decided to just place it here because they have like more space over here so right before I even organize my bookshelf in this manner it's technically a shelf full of books previously and now I kind of reduce my books but still all this area I don't even touch it 
maybe like once in a while when i was organizing my stuff i have two things in my mind first is i want to have some space to put my beautiful bags and second is i want to have a space to put my snacks i know i have a lot of space to put on my kitchen cabinet already but i was too lazy to keep walking from my bed to the kitchen i know the distance is not very far but i'm just too lazy to walk too far so i decided to make my third shelf a snack bar so it's easier for me to see what snacks i want to see i mean i want to eat because the kitchen cabinet is a little too high for me so i have to actually get a stool to stand on top why not i just leave it here it's easier for me to see what i want to eat then below will be another pile of nonsense like my ironer right opposite my bookshelf we have my old mirror i know i have a lot of mirror i have like a total of four mirrors in this room then over here we have a big tv where i can just netflix and chill you know <laughs> and with my with my snacks bar and all it's so much more convenient for me over here i place all my nonsense because i don't know where else should i put i'm not a very like organized kind of person so we have our laptops in a fan i also place some mini jewelry box over here so i actually like this tiny concept even though it's not very very nice but i just want to have a place for me to decide what jewellery should I wear for the day I hate it when I always forget to put on jewellery on myself because I look very plain and I always forget it because I just keep it in my drawer which is why I just forget so if I have this, I get to see it and I will like oh wait, I need to put on my jewellery so yeah, it's a good thing I don't really have like a lot of cool jewellery but at least one or two nice stuff this bottom area is actually my favorite area oh my god look at the shoes it's so freaking nice before i even had this idea of placing my shoe over here it's technically plain nothing there's no shelves but i decided to go ikea and diy it and make a shelf so that like i have more space to put my shoe because i don't know why i have a lot of shoes the thing about being a girl you know it's just like that and now we have a clearer view of my bed obviously over here you can see i have like all my cutie pie teddy bear and it's so cute like look at this love is housing over here these are the teddy bears that protects my bed from any intruders and these are just my imaginary friends and right beside my bed i have my closet it's not very big and fun facts there's only one door which is this one so i purposely place like a beautiful dress over here not very beautiful but just a long dress because they don't really have a very long space for me to put long dresses so i decided to hang my long dress over here anyway the closet is really small taking into account i have a lot of clothes so i got no choice but to fold my clothes and put it here and definitely it's a mess so we are not gonna go into that so if you guys actually notice i have this humongous laundry pool at the back i got this from shopee for 80 dollars and i swear to god guys this is really really freaking helpful can literally hang bed sheet and all it's almost uh as big as the room size and it's really really stable this shit doesn't even damage your wall at all so this is my last section which i call this the cozy area but at the same time a stress area because when i'm free i will be sitting down here and talk to my teddy bear or when i'm busy i'll be sitting here still um, with my laptop on to do my work i generally love this area because it feels really cozy and relaxing in a way apparently my battery died yesterday so i decided to film again today as i was saying at my cozy area other than me slacking here almost every single time i decided to push like my tables and printers etc 
all under my big table to optimize the whole entire area here because actually the space here is quite big but if I'm going to place my table out and all it's gonna get squeezy and you won't really have a lot of space to walk so it's better to just shove them under my big table then I also have a fridge beside me which is pretty convenient for me to get water and some other beverage the, another reason why I actually decided to place my fridge here is because the kitchen area don't have a power point for me to freaking charge this fridge so I had no choice but to push it all the way here normally if I'm not sitting on the floor with my small table doing my work I will definitely be sitting on my bed doing my work from here and this also explains why my big table is always very messy no matter how I try to clean it up the next following day it will get messy again because I'm always very lazy. So I decided to put an extension cord here with a velcro tape because I always do my charging here but if it gets heavy of course the whole entire thing will drop off and I also decided to hang my remote controller here just me trying not to mess up my table but no matter how hard I try to organize my life my table will still be messy <laughs> last but not least I have my dressing table which I normally do my makeup so this entire dressing table is also provided by the owner and I honestly like the vanity mirror because just look at this wow it's so freaking bright it really brightened up my life dressing table have like two compartments here so no matter how i organize it it will still look messy and uh, look at this i still have like my broken veil nails here i decided to collect them because i kind of miss my long nails and over here we have a drawer as well i tried to tidy up but it's still messy so this is where i put my lipsticks these are the brushes and these are my eyeshadows, foundation, concealers. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini room tour. I know it's not really big. After all, it's just like a studio room. But one thing that I'm very glad about is I have a toilet and a kitchen to myself so I don't really have to share it with the other users outside there but at least the entire room is big enough for me to put some necessary stuff although to a certain extent because of the small area it might not be very easy or convenient for me to do certain things but after staying here for a couple of months I kind of got used to it and I kind of like you know live with it and find some other solution to make things easier for me like moving my snap bar nearer to me so yeah anyway don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and also follow my social media i'll see you guys soon bye so won't you please say